The Hamilton County Sheriff's Office confirms 70 positive COVID-19 cases in the Hamilton County Jail and Silverdale Detention Facility since April 8th. 19 inmates and 18 employees have tested positive at the county jail. 20 inmates and 13 workers have tested positive at Silverdale. Sheriff Jim Hammond says masks are optional for inmates and Channel 3's Travis Cummings is live with more on what the sheriff had to say. Travis. Yeah, David, the sheriff says masks are provided to everyone who comes into the jail, but it's their choice if they want to wear it. In the grand scheme of things, it is not what it appears to be that this is some huge problem that's going on. In a Hamilton County Commission meeting Wednesday night over Zoom, Sheriff Jim Hammond described the impact of COVID in the Hamilton County Jail and Silverdale Detention Center as small, but a problem nonetheless. It is a problem just to have one. We've had no deaths. We've had no serious sicknesses from it. Hammond told commissioners they've had a total of 60 people test positive for the virus inside both facilities since April. But you're talking about a total population of 15, 13, 14, 1,500 prisoners and several hundred officers. That's a very low number. The total number of inmates inside both facilities is just under 1,200. Since the start of the pandemic, the Sheriff's Department has stood firm on its measures to prevent the spread of COVID-19 in its facilities, despite its growing number. We've got a, a very good quarantine procedure where we're able to separate in minutes. Uh, we uh, find someone who does um, test positive. Hammond says when it comes to masks for inmates, the jail hands them out. Wearing them is their own choice. Those prisoners, you're not going to make them do anything they don't want to do. Uh, so we do give them the ability to have a mask, but I would say less than one-tenth of one percent will ever ask for or wear a mask. And Hammond says the sheriff's office is working with the Hamilton County Health Department and Erlinger on both contact tracing and quarantine practices. Now, we did reach out uh, for an interview to clarify uh, both the case count and mass. The sheriff was unavailable for comment today. Reporting in Chattanooga, Travis Cummings, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.